Hello, I'm Rio. I'm Jose. I'm Yo. I'm Yuki. And I'm Yoko. We are all from Aizu Gakuho High School. Today, we come to ISEMS to tell you something like Scientists, show yourselves. Before we start, we would like to show our school. This is our school look like. Here is where we at Kyoto University. And this is where Aizu Gakuho High School is. Zooming in a little, you can see Fukushima Prefecture. And here is where our school is. But, and it is in Aizu Wakamatsu City, but not all of us are from the city. Yuki and Ryoko are from Aizu Wakamatsu, but Ryo and Hosei are from Kitakata City, a little bit north of Aizu Wakamatsu, and I'm from Kariyama City. And now, let's move on to our main theme. First of all, three of us are going to tell you about our experiences with science. The first is Ryoko's. Thank you. When I was a child, I helped my grandfather work in the field. Um, at that time, I collected the seeds of vegetables and fruit. During the project, I examined which family the vegetables and fruit belonged to. While searching, I got surprised at the nature of the plant families, such as the peaches belong to the rose family. As I, I surveyed the characteristic of our sardi vegetables and fruit. Through this project, I found that learning about the nature of things was a lot of fun. How about Jose? Hi, I'm Jose. When I was a child, I was a city boy for a long time. <laughs> but now, I'm not. <laughs> OK. That's why I can tell you the difference between city boy and me. <laughs> the difference is the amount of information around us. In other words, I didn't know the latest information. So, to approach the level, I used the computer and the internet which gave me the latest information when I was in elementary and junior high school. In addition, I joined computer club to learn, the, to learn programming. To catch the city boy, I started researching the, about IT. It's so very fun. So I'm still interested in information technology. Yuki, now it's your turn. Thank you, Jose. Now I'm telling about my story. When I was in the fifth grade in elementary school, I experienced the Great East Japan earthquake. As you know, a nuclear accident also happened at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. At the time, I lived in Minami Soma City, which was very close to the power plant. So I had to evacuate from my hometown to Aizu. As my time in Aizu passed by and my hometown changing, I wondered, why did the accident happen? How did it happen? How would our life be if it, did, if it didn't happen? I really wanted to know the answers, and I realized that they were related to science. This is the reason I became interested in science. We would like to emphasize that we got interest in science through our real experiences in our childhood as a passive experiences. When I entered high school, we started thinking seriously about what we want to do in the future. As mentioned, we were interested in science. Therefore, we tried to search the career in science, using the internet, attending mock lectures, and so on. And we considered our, 
our options. Compared with our experience, high school students need to pick up the information by ourselves. We call it active experiences. However, the most of resources provided by scientists were too difficult for us to understand, especially scientific essays or papers. Even when we attended the open campus, university students kindly introduced the university and campus, but we were not able to find any scientists where were you? <laughs> we were not able to know how scientists help our society. Therefore, we were not able to see what scientists are thinking. Unfortunately, this is why we, we have been losing our interest in science. And now, we would like to give you some suggestions. We know that you've involved in the scientific community, but the problem is that we don't know what you are doing and how you are connected to the world. And what we really want to know is not about the difficult and complicated lectures or explanations at universities. Rather, we want to know your experiences how you've got interested in science, what made you to do the research, and how the real scientists are. We want to know your stories. Your answers and stories should be attractive for all the people who have not been interested in science until now. But, and of course, high school students will feel science more attractive. So, please share your experiences and stories about what kind of jobs or activities do you do concretely or the way you bond with the world and the how to compete in the world through opening the labs in open campus, having the time to discuss with high school students, and making some websites which is easy for high school students to understand. If scientists reveal more to high school students, we believe three big changes would occur. The first change, which is, which is very simple but very important, is that more and more high school students will get interested in not only science but in career. Um, uh, if students knew about the reality of a scientific career, the smoke and the obscurity of a becoming a scientist would disappear. According to our current imagination, without knowing a scientist, we thought only genius people can be a scientist and wouldn't think to be a scientist, since we don't know you. But through our experience in ice and skeleton and talking with the scientists, we start to realize scientists really their science and it doesn't matter whether we are genius or not. Um, if students we got interested in science, we have a chance to be a scientist. This is why it is very simple but important to know both science and its career. The second change is globalization. After learning about scientist job, we may think that um, the, about the global standard of science. When Isim Scalabon was held at our school, uh, Daniel Sensei came to teach and talk with us. It was the first chance to talk with a foreign scientist and know that science is global. Um, of course, English is a pleasant global standard and we learn at our school. When we students find the importance of English, uh, they also notice the importance to accept to and understand other cultures. Our teachers, parents, and media keep saying that 
English is important for us to live in our generation because of globalization. You will be right. But unfortunately, as you might know, we high school students are less affected by this kind of advice. We do not realize the importance unless we have experienced. The third is decision. If students have already been interested in science, and if you tell about your jobs for those students, what could be happened? They will be able to obtain deeper insights about science and get involved into scientific career. And more importantly, they will be able to decide what they want to be in their future in advance. I mean, before entering a university. As a reality around us, there are many students who don't choose a career path, although they focus on science in high school. If students decide on our path, career path earlier, we will have more but proper options to enter a university. This doesn't just save our time. It enables starting our scientific career much earlier than before. This should be good for any research in the future. Of course, it might be hard to change the world or even scientist attitudes. So we think university students can do. Why? They can often communicate with scientists and they are about the same age as us. So, university students should be bridged to connect high school students and scientists. Moreover, when we become a university student, what can we do for a high school student? We might start from a small things. But compared with before, we had a bit more chance to interact with scientists such as Isam Scarven. We really enjoyed to hear their story and get inspired for our future. So now we need to make an action based on what we can do. After entering university, we will ask scientists to tell and share their story and experience more closely. For example, we can contribute to do some experiments with scientists and then tell the story and experience for high school students by using SNS such as Twitter or going to the high school such as Aizu Gakuho. We can also have a campus visit with them. At the ISM's caravan, caravan members told us about the frontier of knowledge. The figure shows there are boundaries among a high school, university, and doctor. But collecting these small changes will take away a borderline of the frontier of knowledge. Finally, do you realize? Now, here, this is our first but very important step for us to take a borderline between us. Scientists, show yourselves. We are your future. <laughs> Thank you for listening.